Yes, you're right. Am locked down officially. Uh, yeah. I won't be leaving my house anytime soon. Well, I guess I do got to eat at some point and go get groceries. But uh, yeah, California. Here we are. The Roni's got us. Or as I've been calling it, the Ron Ron, in honor of what Tom Halperford would call it. I figured I'd address a few things. Um, I actually was going to post a honeymoon video, the honeymoon video. First, before getting into that, this is a beer I made. This is a beer with only DME in it and a Zaka hops, and I forgot the other hop. Uh, Zaka was all like the flavoring and aroma and all that. I was gonna do an intro video about how to like, uh, if you're first time brewing, you can buy some DME and add some hops to it, but it just <laughs> it was rushed. I haven't even looked at the footage. I'm sure it's terrible. I don't know. I might hack something together and post it. I, I don't. I don't know. I've never done like a homebrew, like get your homebrew kit intro video, and here's how you brew beer for the very, very first time. That was what I was kind of trying to do, but it was last minute. So I was gonna use the beer for something else, and anyway, I don't know if I'll post it. If I do post it, then uh, there'll be, there will be double tastings. But I'll do, I'll do a little sip on it right now. I did do two gallons of it, and it was, um, yeah, that was it. I think USO5 was eased. It smells kind of sweet. I think the gravity finished at 1013. I think the original starting was like 1065. It's not terrible. It's a little on the, sweet's not the right word, but like, I don't know, slightly off. It doesn't have that dry, beautiful crispness that I get from uh, using grain, but someone made this for the very, very first beer. It would actually be pretty solid. Nice and hoppy and orangey. Well, it's, I think it's a little tannic. That's also what I'm getting. It's a little bit. For only DME, it's not the worst. Um, I like how dark it got, though, too. That's interesting. It was light DME, too. I don't think it was the extra light, though. But it could have been. So I was going to actually post a video, the honeymoon video. I recorded some footage. I had a whole video I was going to post. This was last week, and I was like, uh... It was me and Sarah going to France and Italy. And I don't want the comments to be filled with the Roan Roan talk. So I just, I, I held off on it, but it's not going away. So um, I'm going to post it uh, probably, you know, three or four days from now. And, uh, but yeah, we were back. We've been back for almost a month now, three weeks, a month. We're fine. Never got sick. Nothing happened. And I know, yes, you can carry it without symptoms. But even while we were over there, I mean, people weren't really talking about it. Only time that thing that, that ever happened, the only weird thing was um, we ended up going through uh, the airport in Italy and uh, they were checking our temperature. And that was like February 15th or 16th, something like that. So yeah, I hadn't quite hit yet there. We got back and all of a sudden it just you know, escalated drastically. So next thing I want to address is homebrew con. I was going to try and go this year. I keep saying that every year, but no one ever responds to my emails and when I try and apply for that media application, I don't know why. But now I'm like, well, does it even matter? Will it be postponed or not happen at all? I haven't heard anything on it. I've tried to go to their website. Well, I have gone to the website and I've seen nothing about it being postponed. A lot of major events that are happening even in June are being pushed back. So I don't know. I have no idea what's going on with that. I assume it's going to be postponed or canceled. But maybe they're, they're still on a wait and see thing. So we'll, we'll see with that. Uh, my homebrew competition, um, I did a, I'm doing a Saison next. I did get, I think, four in. And then I know one person tried to send it, Jamie. Tried, but they wouldn't let him ship it. He was in Australia. And um, I responded to about five or six other people. They never responded, which does happen. I notice on these, I get like 10 to 12, maybe more. On the Saison one, I got like 20. And I replied to a ton of them saying, send it, send it, send it. And then some, only four did. So that will be happening soon. I don't know if I will be doing these competitions until this whole thing dies down, until the Roan Roan goes away. I cannot say that with a straight face. The Roan Roan. And so I don't know, when I do that Saison tasting video, and I put, you know, in that video I'll say if the competition is still happening, you can still mail stuff. So why not, I guess, but we'll see. So what this means for the homebrew community is uh, I don't think anything really changes. I mean, you can order your supplies online. In fact, I'll be brewing more probably because I'll have less to do and I'll be at home a lot, a lot more. On weekends, I used to go out all the time and now I can't. So, um, yeah, so 
we'll see. I'm going to probably attempt some sort of beer. I tried to order from Yakima Valley Hops. I ordered it too late. Didn't get here this weekend, but I can still make it sour. So I have no hops, but I have all the stuff, everything else I need. And um, so uh, we'll see. But yeah, you know, if I homebrew more, I bet homebrew might even go up a little bit. That's my guess, especially those who are quarantined. You can order supplies. Why not? Go crazy. So I think it's a good thing. It does hurt breweries, though. I know every brewery in the California, or at least Los Angeles area, I should say, because that's where I'm at, is they're suffering. I know they're, they're trying to do a lot of deliveries. Um, you can pick up to go a lot. Some are even trying to offer food if they can. Um, so as of now, even with this full lockdown in California, I think they still can. I don't. I thought they would might be shut down uh, entirely just because of how strict it was kind of getting. But I've seen them post on Instagram that they're still open and delivering. So that's great. So if it does happen to a state, uh, your city, from what I've seen, you can still do this with delivery and pickup. Um, so that's good. So uh, that's it. Just, uh, just want to address that few things and uh as usual stay tuned for more videos don't let the ron ron get you and uh stay safe out there and see you next time <laughs>